Hello everyone, Patricius Geronimo again here. It's nice to meet you again here. Today my topic is about pitch deck. It's really an alternative to business plan. Now probably you have known what business plan is. A business plan is a document that explains how you are going to do your business, how you are going to uh, promote your business, how you are going to earn profit, uh, what is your team, uh, what your team consists of, and those kinds of things. But business plan is usually very thick, yeah, and if you give it to executives, probably they don't have much time to read all of your business plan. You'll have to need, you'll have to present them with something more succinct, more concise, which means short but impactful, short but meaningful, something short that will get them to action, something short that will ins inspire them or to impress them so that they will be able to lend a helping hand and give you the money that you need for your business okay okay so without further ado let's dive to my powerpoint slides okay so people here is the topic for today uh, pitch deck presenting core ideas of your business again uh, this emphasizes uh, concise concise means short but impactful and meaningful presentation of your business. You have learned how to write a business plan, but business plan is usually longer, takes more time to read, and today's people probably don't have much time to read a long business plan. And instead, you will present them with pitch deck, which is shorter, but can be effective in making them interested in your business. So what is pitch deck? Pitch deck, sorry, pitch deck, okay. What is actually pitch deck? Pitch deck is a brief presentation consisting of 12 up to 20 slides of your business plan, usually presented on PowerPoint or Prezi, and it is aimed to convince potential investors or partners. Okay. Now, let me uh, go through the part of a pitch deck one by one. I'm going to explain uh, what you will have to speak or will, what you will have to present in that section. Then I'll give you the example. So the first section, the first PowerPoint slide that you present is introduction. In introduction, you explain who you are, the name of your company or your business, and what is your purpose. So, for example, you can say, good morning, my name is Lina, and I'm here to present to you my company, English Easy. That's introduction. Okay. Well, of course, you can then ask questions or tell stories which made your audience even more interested in finding out more about your business. Okay. And then you present them with the problems, the problems as you see it. Explain, explain the problems that you see. So you can say, lots of potential business, lots of potential business persons lack spoken English skills. As a result, they fail to communicate their bright ideas to foreign investors or partners. This is the problem. They should go to English courses, but they are too busy. Again, this is a problem, right? And they are usually afraid of grammar and teachers' harsh correction. So you explain the, the problems as you can see them and you make them aware that, look, these are the problems that we face now, okay? And then you offer the solutions and your product. Propose a solution that your company can offer and introduce your product or service. So you can say something like, we have designed some teaching programs that cater for busy business people. It is called speak or for profit, speak for profit. It basically gets them to involve in a direct online or offline discussion with our staff in English language. No grammar correction, no harsh correction, just speak and speak. And before long, they will find out their English is getting better because of the interactions with other people using English language. Okay. So this is the solutions that you say to them to uh, solve the problems that you just presented, okay? 
And then the next slide or the next part is where you explain the market. Explain your current customers, the customers that you are serving now, and your plan to reach more customers. Yeah. So for example, you can say, currently we are serving 10 business people from different business lines. In the near future, we plan to introduce this service to emerging business communities in Batam Island. So not only do you explain what customers you are serving now, but also you explain to them how you are going to expand your business, how you are going to find a wider market, how you are going to find more customers. You explain it to them. They need to be convinced that you have the plan to expand your market, to introduce your business to other communities, wider communities out there. Okay. And then traction. Traction is uh, you have to explain how you will gain more profit by expanding your service to wider market. See, now you uh, talk about more specific things of how you are going to uh, gain more profit by getting more customers to enjoy or to buy from you. So you can say if we can gain at least 50 more business people in this course, we will be able to gain a revenue of 50 million and that will be enough to cover our costs and pay back a loan on a monthly basis. So you, you give a detail, a more detailed explanation of how much money you are going to get and how you are going to pay the loan. Okay. And then uh, the next part is you have to address the competition, the issue of competition. You can explain your current competitors and what makes you different from them, what makes you unique, and what makes you different from those existing competitors. And then you also have to say your competitive advantages. What is it that you have but your competitors do not have? What is it that you can offer but your competitors cannot offer? And also how you will compete with them. Okay. So you can say something like our current competitors are mostly traditional English courses. We offer flexible learning hours that they cannot offer. Plus we create a more relaxed learning environment which they quite probably haven't been able to make. So you highlight your uniqueness, you highlight the advantages that you have that your competitors do not have. Yeah. So you have to convince your audience that you can stand out among the competitors and you can beat them, you can compete with them. Yeah. You have to explain your advantages, you have to explain your specific ability or a specific feature that will make it that will make it easier for you to beat the competitors yeah. and then um, you come to the business model the next part is the business model this is where you explain how you are planning to earn profit so for example uh, we hire teachers who are good at speaking english and have friendly personality we recruit those fresh graduates and train them briefly. Then we promote the services through social media and direct visit to business communities where we will sell a three-month learning package or 70 hours of English conversation at the price of 800,000 rupiah to them. If we can gain such and such rupiah minus such and such rupiah for our costs, we will earn such and such rupiah as profit. Okay, so you have to explain in detail how much money you are going to get uh, and how you are going to cover the costs and how much money that you will enjoy as, as your profit. And that's important. That shows uh, the audience that your business is profitable, that your business is prospective. Okay. And then comes the financial statements. Here we explain the fund that you currently have, the money that you currently have, how much you need, and how you will repay the loan. Okay, so you can say something like, so we have such and such rupiah now yeah, in our hand. We will need such and such rupiah for these needs. If necessary, you can spell out 
uh, what needs that need require more funding, more money. Yeah? Maybe hiring more teachers, uh, renting a website, website hosts, yeah, things like that. So by the third year of our operation, we will gain such and such rupiah to settle our debt or to repay the loan plus the interest. Okay, yeah. So that's what you have to say in the financial statements. Yeah, and then you have to explain to them the people behind you, the staff, your team. Explain your staff members and their expertise or their tasks in your company. So, for example. I'm the head of this English course. I'm assisted by Miss Ranti, and we have Miss Mr. Choko, Miss Fini, and Miss Dewi as teachers. We also have my brother Rudy, who serves as our media specialist. So this is a brief description of your team. Somehow you'll need to convince the audience that you have a strong team with their own expertise. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So that's a, a pitch deck. Good luck and come up with a good pitch deck. Stay safe, stay healthy and goodbye.